Let's look at this first example here, cube root. Okay, so when you see that you have a cube root in your denominator, you're going to have to rationalize with the same radical, cube root, the same base in the radical, three, and what we're going to do is we're going to build up these powers so they equal the index. Well, the index is three. How many powers of three did we have to start with? We had one power of our base to start with, so how many more do we need to build up to our index? We need two more. So we're not just rationalizing and multiplying by the cube root of three. We want this to be three cubed in the denominator, so we need two more threes to multiply. And when we do that, we get four times the cube root of three squared, which is nine. You can reduce that or simplify it. And then in the denominator, we have 11 times. And the cube root of three times the cube root of three squared is the cube root of three cubed, where the index and power cancel, leaving just the base three. And that's the whole point of using this process, is you're wound, you wind up being left with just the base outside. No factors cancel here, so I get four times the cube root of nine, all divided by 33. And when you enter this online, it's gonna be four root three in parentheses gives you cube root, then nine, all divided by 33. And so that's what the keystroke <coughs> entry would look like for this problem. So we first look to see, can we reduce what we have? There's no perfect square factors here. There's no way to rewrite two using an exponential form with a smaller base. So we're going to rationalize with the same index, fourth root, the same base, two, and then we're gonna build up our powers so that they equal our index. Well, the index was a four. How many base twos did we have to start with? One, so how many more do we need to build up to a total of four? Three. And so this is gonna be the fourth root of two cubed is what we use to rationalize here. And so we get 11 times the fourth root, two cubed is eight all over three times, again, the fourth root of two to the first times the fourth root of two to the third. You can combine those into one radical, fourth root of two, to, two times two cubed, which is two to the fourth, the root and the power cancel, leaving just the base two. And again, the whole point of this, uh, choosing to use this strategy, you'll always be left with just this base. Uh, between 11 and then three times two, no common factor, so I get 11 times the fourth root of eight divided by six. If I was entering this online, I get 11 root four gives me the fourth root of eight, divide by six, and once again, this would be the keystroke entry for that. <clears throat> All right, questions on what I did in those two examples using nth roots beyond square roots? All right, so the next level of complexity comes when you can't simplify the radical by removing perfect squares or perfect cubes, but you can simplify it by rewriting it in an exponential form. So if you look at this problem right here, uh, instead of thinking of this as the cube root of 121 to the first, where you would rationalize by taking the cube root of 121 squared over the cube root of 121 squared, that's going to give you numbers that are, are not easy for you to work with. What you want to be able to do is recognize that 121 is actually 11 squared. It's a perfect square itself. So if you rewrite it in that exponential form using a smaller base, what you can then do is when you rationalize, we can use the same index, cube root, the same base, which I reduce now to a much easier to manage 11. And then when I build up my powers to equal the index, my index is three. How many base 11s did I have to start with? Two, so how many more do I need? Okay, so when I rationalize this, I wind up with five times the cube root of 11 to the first, which I'll just leave as 11. My nine stays where it is. Cube root of 11 squared times cube root of 11. Again, the root and power cancel, leaving just my base 11. Five, nine, 11, nothing cancels here. So I get five times the cube root of 11, all divided by 99. <coughs> and if I was entering this online, cube root, oops is represented by root three of 11 divided by your 99, and that would be the simplified form. Always be on the lookout for perfect powers, things that can be represented using an exponential form with a smaller base. 
49 is a perfect square. It's 7 squared. So if you think of it in those terms, when you rationalize, you can use the fourth root, same radical, 7, the same base. We build up our powers. We have, or we need 4 total to equal the index. We have 2 to start with. So how many more are left? 2. And so when you uh, simplify what you have, 11, fourth root of 7 squared is 49 all over 4. And then again, if I followed the process, I, the root and power cancel, leaving just my base 7. 11, 4, and 7, nothing cancels there. So my answer is 11 times the fourth root of 49 all over 28. Now, uh, this answer would be accepted this year. Okay? But it can be simplified further. Okay? And the idea is eventually you guys need to recognize that this form right here, and you could have done it right at the beginning too, but the fourth root of seven squared, remember that doesn't fit one of those earlier conditions that the index and power can't have any common factors. So this two goes in to two once, goes into four twice. So really the fourth root of seven squared or the fourth root of 49 is equivalent to the square root of 7. So ideally, your answer would be this. Okay, 11 root 7 over 28 is the most correct answer. Okay, at this point this year, uh, it should accept either of these forms as the correct answer. Okay, but again, just giving, getting you used to in a pre-calc class, it's uh, very likely that you will need to uh, simplify that all the way down as much as possible to this form. All right, so for this last problem here, 125 you should recognize as a perfect power. It is 5 cubed. So when I look to rationalize, I can use the same index, fourth root, same base, my reduced base of 5. I need to build up my powers to equal the index. My index is 4. My original base has 3 of the 4, so how many more are needed? Just 1. So when I rationalize or when I multiply across the top, I get three times the fourth root of five, all over eight times here the root and power cancel, leaving just the base five. Between the three eight and five, no canceling factor, so I get my answer three times the fourth root of five all over forty, and that would be my simplified form.